The Peace Region's indigenous communities had a chance to celebrate their history this weekend at Doig River's Cultural Days Festival. The event ran from Friday to Sunday, complete with a traditional tea dance, a horsemanship demonstration, and an axe throwing competition. Band leaders say it's important to them to have events that let them practice their culture. Doig is definitely connected to this past. I mean, we, that's, all we, that's all we do is practice our culture. And right now the generation's coming up. We, uh, we take them on hunting and, and trapping. And right now we got a bunch of events. We're building cabins and to, uh, so we could trap in the, in the wintertime. One of the facilities built in time for the festival was a bush camp where tribal elders prepared dried buffalo meat for attendees. They say preserving their traditions is no easy task. Nowadays, it is kind of tough with all the, you know, the internet and everybody's out on there doing their own thing. And it is, it is tough to keep the young people focused in our culture and keep it alive. But we're, uh, we're doing a pretty good job, I think. Organizers say that while the purpose is to celebrate Indigenous cultures, they also hope to attract people from other backgrounds as a way of driving tourism for the band. We want to have international people. Like I said, there was people from all over uh, here and visiting. Uh, our goal is to turn it into a cultural tourism um, uh, for, the, for the community. And, you know, uh, we also do cross-cultural training to, you know, tribal council. Uh, uh, cross the cross-cultural uh, strategy is about, you know, creating employment for our community. Based on the success of this run of the weekend, the band says they plan to make it an annual tradition. I think we're going to do it bigger and better. We're going to advertise more, uh, you know, bigger prize money, and, you know, so we want to make sure that everybody has a great time. Hugh Smith, CJDC TV News, Doig River.